Hiya, so today I'm going to show you these little five licks that can just add something extra from your sort of pentatonic style blues playing. Just give you a little extra hot sauce. Makes you sound big and clever, which we all want to do. But as a caveat, I've got to say, just stringing together a bunch of licks uh, like a robot and spieling them out is never going to make you a great soloist. You know, solo is about self-expression. So you really need to learn these licks and assimilate them into your playing, into your core being, until you don't have to think about them at all. They're under your fingers and that takes a long time. I'm not saying this is going to be easy. You're going to learn these licks, you think, oh, I just can't get it, can't get it, can't get it. Don't give up. Just keep trying and at least commit yourself to learning one of these licks and getting it under your fingers. And once you get one, I guarantee you'll be coming back here and trying to get the next one. By the way, I'm going to be selling this uh, video in a longer format. I'm going to go over the licks much slower and repeat it. And it's also going to come with MIDI so you can see exactly what the licks are. Um, so if you want to get that, the website's below. It's just five pounds. All right, let's get cracking. OK, lick number one. It's in the key of C, but I'm going to be playing F sharp dominant into C. It's a tritone substitution. If you want to know about the theory of that, check the video above. Uh, it'll tell you a bit more about that. But for now, I'm just going to show you the lick. Sounds very clever, but all it is is substituting the C minor with an F sharp dominant, uh, which is, as I said, a tritone sub. So we're starting off on the seventh of the F sharp seventh scale, in this case, an E. So at that point, I'm just literally going up F sharp dominant. Except I'm using a flat five instead of the four. Instead of doing that, I'm going. Then repeating the same thing. And then I'm going into a C minor blues lick. Let's do it again. Just play it and play it and play it again until it's just under your fingers and you don't have to think about it. That's what you want to aim to get towards. Let's go to the next one. This one's based around a diminished scale. So the good thing about that, because of the nature of diminished scales, you only actually have to learn it in three keys and it can cover all the keys. So let me show you it in this key first. So I might use it as a turnaround. Let's say I'm in D minor. I might go up to the fifth at the end and use it as the turnaround phrase. So let's learn this one then. I'm using fingers just one, two and four, by the way, on this one. It's very simple. It's the same lick, just up in minor thirds, minor thirds, minor thirds. That's all it is. And you can just keep on going up as much as you want or use as little of it as you want, you know, or just break it up and use parts of it. Quite jazzy sounding, it's got that diminished sound. Okay, let's do it real slow. Again. And then once you've learned it in that key, you learn the other two. There's only two others. Do that slow for you. And then let's try it in the last key which is D. So 
So that's the basic uh, lick. As I said, you can break it up, you know, use elements of it. It's a matter of really playing it, playing it a million times until you get it under your fingers and you start to really instinctively feel it rather than having to think about it. That takes a long time. Don't give up. Don't think, oh, I've just, I'll never get it. I'm useless. It takes everyone a long time, you know? So it's not just you. It takes everyone a long time. Put in the hours and you'll get gratification. If you really get it under your fingers, you will. Okay, lick number three. This is just a little triad that goes down in whole tones. And it's good for using, again, as a turnaround. A lot of these sort of licks work well at, as a turnaround before you go back into the sequence, especially if it's going up to a, the five on the uh, scale. So if you were in A minor, for instance. Again, you can just take a part of this, you don't have to stick with it slavishly at all. You know, you can be sensible if the chords are moving. You know, you can adapt it, be sensible. Don't just robotically, no, I have to play this lick. Doesn't matter regardless of the music, you know what I mean? You've got to be musical about these things. But it's a good little lick to learn. You can adapt it to other keys. Again, it's just going down in whole tones. So if you were in, if you did it in A, But let's go back to uh, where we were. So I'm playing this over an E dominant and I'm starting with a E at the top. Again, it can go on as long as you like or as short as you like. The fingering is very important in this one. I don't normally like talking about fingering because I'm self-taught and my fingering's all over the place. But in this particular case, I can say you need to be five, one, three, five, four, one, three, five, four, one, three, five, four, one, three, five, four, one, three. That's how you can get around it. You know, you always have to alternate between the five and the four. Once you get that under your fingers, it's fairly easy to move down. All right, let's do it really slowly. Okay, so this lick is nicked entirely from Kenny Kirkland. Uh, he played it live on Bring On The Night by Sting, um, a live concert in Paris. It's my favorite ever keyboard solo. It's just incredible. The imagination, the amount of kind of different licks he throws in, uh, the, the way he builds the solo is incredible. Recommend you check it out. But anyway, I, I'm doing my own version of that live uh, and mainly because I just thought it'd be fun to learn a few of his licks and then combine them with my own playing. I've been really enjoying playing it live. Uh, anyway, here's the lick. It's another diminished lick and it sounds really clever until you realise it's just exactly the same thing going down in minor thirds, you know, diminished. So it's like this. Sounds really, really tough. Once you get it under your fingers, it's not as difficult as you think. Um, and he plays it, uh, the chords are... So let's do it nice and slow. It's all the same phrase. You just got to move down a minor third each time. Move your fingers down. I'd say for this one, just find the fingering that's comfortable for you. I'm playing it like this.
And the good thing is, because it's such an obscure little phrase, really, it's kind of quite atonal in a way. You can kind of throw it in almost anywhere, and it's what you play after it that makes sense of it, if you know what I mean. You can throw it in and then get back into the key that you're in. You get the idea, bring it back around, bring it back into the blues or whatever it is you're playing. Don't just have it as this disparate thing that suddenly happened for no good reason. Try to make musical sense of it is the idea. Okay, so here's the last one. It's just a simple idea, really, and you can take this ball and kick it wherever you like, really. It's just giving you an idea how you can put together some of these little runs. This is one of my own. Sounds really complicated, but basically, I'm just basing it on this type of A flat minor scale. Not the melodic one. Okay, and I'm just using that as the root, but then I'm extending it into chords. Still quite simple. What makes it sound more complicated is I'm just playing a note below each time. And I'm following the scale. just makes it sound quite intricate you know it's just adding that little extra note rather than it just being just having that extra note and I developed that from a track called La Luna that I'm playing it's one of my songs So let's break it down real slow. So the left hand is doing this leading note each time. All right, well, I hope you got something out of this. You know, please don't think you'll be able to do it in five minutes. You won't. But if you really kind of make an effort, tell yourself, I'm definitely going to get at least one of these down. Doesn't matter how long it takes, get it down. You'll feel better for it, I guarantee.